What up, Birches? I hope all is well with you. For, for us, today is gonna be a good day because going all stir crazy with the quarantine, we decided we're gonna go take a lovely little jaunt out to uh, the Spiral Jetty. That's right, we are breaking quarantine, but we're not going anywhere people are, hopefully, and we're definitely staying away from anything that's, you know, common or popular. We're, we just need fresh air. We need to get out. Yeah. Look at those shoes. Dang girl, those are cute. Look at that little purse. Probably full of LPS. Knew it. We're LPS king. But yeah, definitely a good time for us to get out. We're gonna go uh, explore, get some fresh air. Look at that pretty girl. Dang! <laughs> Girls, my wife is hot. So we were driving to Spiral Jetty and Cameron found this little place off the side of the road. So he's down there looking at it. I have no idea what it is. What is it? So it's, it's showing where during the building of the Transcontinental Railroad, they built a trestle or bridge. See that like kind of mound and it's like flat on top? Yeah. And then that just big open area. Yeah. There used to be a bridge that went across that. Oh. And now it's gone because they were a month behind when they built it. So it was really shaky. And only like, I think they said like 40 trains went over it. And then they switched and moved the track somewhere else. Wow. Neat. History. And that is now a historical site of where a bridge used to be. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the stone abutments. Neat. taken the social distancing to the extreme. I don't see anybody So I know people, only cows. Only cows. There are only friends right now. Oh. Nothing. We're getting there. I think they might be there, actually. Are we here? I don't know. I don't know either. Anyways. There's something. A bunch of sticks and a little path out there. <laughs> I hope that wasn't it, because I don't think we can make it down that far. Now, if you guys have seen our Pink Lake video, yeah. we're just at a different location of the pink part of the Great Salt Lake. Again, the water is pink because of um, the algae in the lake emits pink. Oh, I think I see it. I see it. And unfortunately, there There's are people. people here, which sucks. Social distancing. But I guess everyone had the same idea. Get out with nature, enjoy your time with your family. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. For real, it's tiny. If that's it, that's tiny. Oh, dang. I told you guys it was gonna be small. <laughs> but there are a ton of people here. Yeah, I don't wanna be near any of them. Yeah. It's little. But we're here. Let's go have some fun. Yeah, it's made so, of rocks. you guys, I have come to the realization I never wear the right shoes for any of these outings. I always try and look nice and forget that we're gonna be out in nature because I've got my nice booties on because I gotta take some photos and it's made out of mud and rocks. Yay. Well done. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> You think I've learned by now? Definitely a lot more crowded than we anticipated. Also, a little windy, a little chilly. I'm so waiting for freaking spring to get here so we can just run around outside. But this'll do. Check, we found a little path off to the side here. Thought we'd kind of check it out first before we go down to the jetty. Pretty neat. All bundled up. Hey boobies, what you doing in there? Just chilling. Hey, look at the bench. It's a nice bench. Good, you know, craftsmanship. Quite crafty of a bench. Look at that. 
You can you can sit on it. Go ahead and take a sit. Yeah, show us show us how to sit on the bench. Look at that. Functions. It's a well-made bench. Whoever made this bench, good job, you. Way to go. Well, we'll do some exploring and see what's uh, see what's around here. Now this right here is what nature's all about. Natural beauty. Well, in this case, it's man-made. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that sun, that sky. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty. That's real pretty. <laughs> Loving the fresh air, huh? Yeah, because I have been outdoors in so long. Been cooped up in the house, driving us crazy. How you doing? We hiding, keeping you warm? Unfortunately, as you can tell, it's a little bit windier than we expected. I mean, we had sunny skies the whole way out here. And then we get here, and now it's just overcast. Cold wind, pretty strong wind. So that, you know, puts the drone out of commission, unfortunately. And there are definitely a lot more people than I expected. Look at that. There's people. There's some more people. There's some people over there. Uh, there's other people. There's our people. More people. My people. But as you can see, we're keeping a more than six foot distance from them. Just to be safe. But we're going to kind of explore. Here it is. You can see it. The jetty. Up close and personal. All spirally. Look at that thing. Ooh, so fancy. Oh, so fancy. No idea how this guy made it. Pretty impressive. You just throw a bunch of rocks. Big strong guy. It's amazing. Yep. You look like you're having fun for your first little adventure. My first nature adventure. Yeah. You're digging it. You got a little cold nose. Yeah. Pretty cool. We won't be out here too long. But that's, you know, it's pretty neat. I do wish it was a little warmer so we can run around and play around a little more. But not too bad. Let's go to the center. Kaylee, go to the center. I'm gonna be the first one in the middle. Oh! Nailed it. This is the middle. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, this is the middle. See, if you follow it, look, look, goes around and then around again, and then it keeps going around. Another round, and then finally it carries on. No, it doesn't. She's a little short. She can't see anything. <laughs> kids these days, like they know everything. Someone left a shovel. Who the heck brought a shovel and then just left it? Come on people, respect your outsides. It's pretty cool looking. Actually, you can get some cool reflective photos up in here. I know, I, was trying, I got a little bit of Well, this was definitely a sweet spot to visit. Yes. Again, just wish it was a little warmer. That's all, wish it wasn't as windy so we could bust out the drone. Yeah. But I mean, look at this, this is freaking dope. Did you like it? Uh-huh. 
But look at my shoes. Oh goodness. Yeah, that happens when you adventure <laughs> because of the territory. Maybe we'll come back this summer when it's warm. That's right. We took a bunch of pictures, so check out the Instagrams. See some of that there. Um, right before we leave though, I'm gonna go run up the hill. Safe. Not all the way, but a little ways up and see if we can get a good view of this here jetty for you. Okay. Looks like some sort of alien symbol. Spiral jetty. An earthwork sculpture constructed in 1970. April. Dang. 1,500 feet long, 15 feet wide. Right out there. Maybe it's a giant calling card telling the aliens where to land. Yeah. That's what's happening next, okay? 2020, next thing. The only way to up the ante is bringing some aliens. Well, maybe from Xenon. Maybe. It was from Xenon. Weird. That's it for us. It's a little cold. <laughs> but still pretty cool out here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay happy. Stay safe. Quarantine. But also see some nature away from people. We love you guys. Bye.